Hello guys and welcome to another video. I'm very excited for today's video and that is because today we are reading Percy Jackson fan fiction, but not just any Percy Jackson fan fiction because as a fanfic reader, I do believe there is good fan fiction out there. But today we're reading fan fiction from the worst place on earth and that is, you guessed it, Wattpad.com. Wattpad is for preteens and beginners. But today we do not want good fix, we want bad fix, so we're going to Wattpad, baby. For the purposes of this video, we don't want fanfics that are too long, and we want fanfics that are completed, so that's what we're looking for today. And when you look for those, we are greeted with beautiful titles such as Percy Jackson Dies, or Percy Jackson's Uncle with a Loki and Iron Man thumbnail. Then we have Jack Frost, Percy Jackson, which actually I'm quite interested in. We have Percy Jackson after Tartarus, we have Percy Jackson, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which was sadly discontinued. Then I can't do this anymore. Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson, Teenage Rockstar. This one is kind of calling to me, and I'm gonna save it for later. Just the cover of this fanfic is enough to make me love it. And then we, of course, we have Personal Space, damn it. Uh, clearly a Pernico fanfic which is over two hours long to read. We're not doing that today, but let me know down below if you want me to do a live reading that fanfic. What I'm seeing is a lot of Percy Jackson and Avengers crossover, which is very funny. Okay, so this is Percy Jackson, Truth or Dare on Wattpad by Lenar, and it has several chapters. Each of them is titled after a character. So let's start off with Percy and this beautiful picture by Varia. We all sat on top of Half Blood Hill, and we had just started playing Truth or Dare. It was my turn. Juniper, Truth or Dare. Juniper looked at me with a hateful look in her eyes. Dare. My brain struggled to think of the best dare I could. I dare you to make yourself look human, go to the middle of camp, scream, run, the tree-turning monster is here, and transform into a tree. Everyone started laughing, even Nico! Juniper stood up and went to the middle of camp while changing the color of her skin. She kept still and suddenly she screamed with such force my ears wanted to bleed. Run! The tree turning monster is here! So she turned into a tree. Everyone knew Juniper so they just laughed and I have to admit it, it was hilarious. She turned back into human form and gave me a death glare. <laughs> Who knew Juniper had this side to her? The grass started growing and getting into my shoes, climbing all the way to my hair. Percy don't look down, Annabeth said. The curiosity was killing me, so I looked down. Worst mistake ever. I looked even greenier than Juniper, which was a lot to say. Grass covered my body, and it was disgusting. Juniper finally let go of me. My skin was red as Rachel's hair, and it ached so much. I threw myself to the lake, and the pain was unbearable. Everybody started laughing until my skin was back to normal. That seems like torture, this poor guy. It was a dare. She chose dare. What did you want him to do? Kiss Grover like the easiest dare ever? Oh my god, Juniper, I didn't know you were so vindictive. Back at the hill, somebody said, Annabeth, your turn. Who are you going to dare? I have learned my lessons. Never mess with a nymph. Apparently. Apparently. Speaking about dares, I've been wanting to work out more lately because new year, new me, am I right? But I don't want this newfound motivation to only last me through January. So I've been working with my own personal fitness coach. Laura Lynn, my coach, is a huge help. I love that I get to work out from the comfort of my own home and that I get a personalized workout plan just for me. I connected with Laura Lynn, my coach, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, Future. Future is a fitness app which pairs you with your own highly credentialed fitness coach who will hold you accountable and keep your workouts fun and fresh. Upon signing up to Future, you will have a video call with your coach who will then design a fitness plan unique to you. Future's coaches are equipment agnostics, meaning that if you're only able to body weight workout at home or if you choose to go to the gym, the coach will build it into your plan. Between voice prompts, video check-ins, calls with your coach, and messaging within the app, you'll feel like your coach is always by your side. You and your coach will work together to achieve your fitness goals. If you start to get bored with your plan, your coach is there to change it up for you and keep you on track. Futures coaches have trained everyone from professional athletes to working professionals. The best thing about Future is that no matter your level, your coach meets you where you're at. And if you want 2023 to be the year that you crush your fitness goals, 
then I have a special offer for you. If you use my link, you will get your first month with a future coach for free. Think of what you can accomplish in that month. Go to this link to get started. I also left the link down in my description box and you can scan the QR code as well. Thanks again, Future, for sponsoring this video. Let's read the next chapter, which is Annabeth's. What Percy had done with Juniper, hilarious. I had to think of someone who would say truth. I looked around and spotted my victim. Will, truth or dare? I definitely took him by surprise. I picked truth. I knew it. <laughs> who do you have a crush on? Ooh, nice one. I said with an evil look in my eyes. He looked like I had just slapped him. He whispered very quickly, he got <laughs> you don't have to answer, Will. You don't have to answer. Everybody looked as stunned as I was, and both Nico and Will blushed terribly. Nobody laughed. Nobody moved a single muscle, afraid of what could happen. Suddenly, the most unexpected thing happened. Nico stood up, sat on Will's left side, and gave him a very quick kiss. That is the most out-of-character thing I have ever read. Everybody stared, but not in amusement. Nico went back to his seat and the silence broke when Hazel said, Grover, it's your turn. Why do they just want to sweep it under the rug? It was a very wholesome moment, even if it was very out of character. Oh my god, I ship it. Sorry guys if you are Perico shippers. Nico and Will, forever, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's see what Hazel does now. Ooh, Grover. As I sat on the hill, I said, Clarice, truth or dare? So there's a lot of people up here that we keep adding characters. Everybody gave funny looks except for Clarice and Chris. It's getting crowded. What do you think? Dare, Clarice replied. I thought about what to tell her when I had an idea. Iris messaged Aries and kissed Chris for 30 seconds. Bad idea. I said, hoping Clarice wouldn't make me goat pie. Everybody started giggling and a couple of seconds it turned into laughter. Clarice gave everyone a death glare and she stood up with Chris. Why is anyone playing truth or dare if everyone is just like, how dare you? How dare you think of a dare? I said dare, but you dared me. How fucking dare you? We all went to Percy's cabin for some reason and Clarice took out a golden drachma. She threw it softly at the fountain and said, Oh, Iris, goddess of messengers, show me my father Ares, please. Everybody looked a little stunned when they saw Ares. Father, it's me, Clarice. She said as she turned around to look directly at Chris, please don't. I felt a little bad for them, but also curious about how we reach situations like this one. Well, you dared her, you little idiot. Clarice put her hands around Chris's neck and pulled him, and pulled him to her so intensely. It was scary. She like strangles him. He kept making out even though I told them the 30 seconds were done. Harry said, what's going on? Clarice, I'm talking to you. Look at me in the eye and stop making out with this son of her. Percy put his hand on the Aries mansion and Aries' angry face disappeared. Oh my god. Well, let's go to the hill, I said. Clarice finally stopped and said, That wasn't so bad, but I'm still getting my sweet revenge with you, Grover. I think it will be bad. I don't think Aries would take this lightly. Imagine calling your dad, who you have a strange relationship with because he's quite abusive. You call him on FaceTime. And then instead of saying anything, you proceed to kiss your boyfriend, to make out with your boyfriend for over 30 seconds. Sounds like a fun time. Back at the hill, Nico sat next to Will and it seemed to be a little odd, but oh well. Finally my turn, Juniper said, smiling fakely at Percy. He was going down. She already tortured him by turning his skin to grass. What more does this dryad want? Also, why is Nico sitting next to Will so weird? This is giving weird vibes fanfic. So I wonder when this was written, that shipping Solangelo is such a weird thing. Then we have Juniper's chapter, I am scared. My revenge was so close, I could feel it. Percy's scared face made me hesitate, but I wasn't a weak one. Once Grover had been flirting with a blueberry bush and I had to say, it wasn't nice for her to Grover when I appeared. Oh my God, she was psycho. Oh, my dear Percy. Truth or dare, I said with a cruel smile. Um, truth, he said nervously. Okay. Who did you kiss from all the people here? I was enjoying this. So much it hurt. I thought about what would happen if I laughed. No, remember Juniper Poker Face. Keep it together. Let's see. Annabeth and, um, Rachel. He murmured the last word. He was so dead. What? Percy, what was the last word? He looked like he was going to faint. 
Yes, you could bring. What was the last part? Annabeth said, clearly annoyed. I said, Rachel. He said, blushing a lot. And when were you planning on telling me this? Annabeth said while staring at Percy. Never? That was the stupidest answer I ever heard, but oh well. Annabeth holded Percy's neck, holded, and threw his face to hers while kissing him very hard. After a minute or two, Annabeth let go while everyone laughed at Percy's surprised face and red cheeks. You are going to remember how to kiss, right? My seaweed brain. This is toxic, Percybeth. Not the cannon, but the fanon. Percy just nodded, still looking too stunned to speak. Punk girl's turn, Tyson said, pointing to Talia. She rolled her eyes and said, Nico. Truth or dare? Who decides these turns? It's so weird. Talia. Finally, my turn to see someone get embarrassed. Nico was the best choice because of what had happened with Will. I didn't want him to be ashamed or something. Piper had told me she had noticed they liked each other since they had defeated Gaia. Nico looked so nervous, it was a little funny. I choose truth. He said as he looked nervously at Will. Let's see, who do you like? I told him. I like Will. He said so quietly I barely heard him. Everyone was smiling, even Will and Nico, I doubted. Oh my god, guys, we'll call you Solangelo, Piper said happily. We all seemed to like the idea, and Nico and Will seemed to enjoy themselves. Who would have guessed? Solangelo, it seemed nice. Imagine, you with your friends. You know, you know two of your friends might have crushes on each other. One of them was... Uh, savagely outed in ancient Greece and uh, you're not even that close to them but you force them to tell each other in front of all your friends that they like each other and then they just sit next to each other and they're like hmm, well that went well in what universe would that happen Superman's turn Connor said while giving Jason a huge grin Jason looked around and said Leo truth or dare why is everyone in this hill. I thought it was just main characters, but Connor is here. Chris is here. Everyone is here. I had been waiting to dare Leo since we had started to play this dumb game. I had the best dare ever. I just hope he would pick it. Of course, my fellow Superman, I choose dare. Leo said in an arrogant tone. Yes! I dare you to go to stand up and start singing really loudly. Light him up. I replied with a glare that would have scared Gaia to death. Would sleep. Everyone started laughing, and they all knew Leo loved that song so much he heard it at night. That's how you know you really love a song. You hear it at night. Like, you don't even listen to it. It's not on your phone or on the radio. You hear it in your head. And in your heart, but mostly in your head. I might have or not have told anyone. Oops. People here are very bad friends. Leo stood up as his hands burst on fire. Bring me my iPod, please, he told me. A minute later, I was already back with his iPod. I knew the password, so I just put the song as Leo started singing. Be careful making wishes in the dark. Can't be sure when they've hit their mark. Blah, 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 all the lyrics. At this point, the whole camp had gotten there and have to admit, Leo sang like a cat throwing up. People were even filming him. With what? With what? You're not supposed to have phones or cameras. Well, I guess cameras you can have including me. So let him up, 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 let him up, up, up. Leo finished very agitated as he clapped for himself. Everyone else was laughing so much, some were falling to the ground. After some minutes, everyone was already on their business, including us. Fortunately, it was Piper's turn and she wasn't gonna dare me, right? I mean, how bad can Aphrodite be, Piper? I glanced at Nico, who had an uneasy look on his face. I silently asked him what was wrong, hoping the shy and pale boy in front of me Spell it in front of everyone, Piper. He just stared at me with his brown eyes. After a minute or two, he pointed to his ear. I closed my eyes and silently prayed nothing wrong was happening. I could hear a faint sound in the distance. When I opened my eyes again, I saw Chiron coming towards us. I stood up and held Jason's hand, who had realized that I had been quiet. When the white-haired centaur finally came to stop next Percy, we all leaned a bit closer so we could all hear what he had to say. He had a pissed off look on his face and dark circles under his eyes. He sighed, rubbing his hands together and after a pause basically screamed, I have been looking for you! Where the Hades have you been? I basically sent everyone to go and look for you. This matches the energy of, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Doing that voice wasn't good for my throat. I glanced at Jason, who had his deep blue eyes set on the grass. I squeezed his hand reassuringly and he did the same back. We all knew how Karen got when he was mad. Really? Do we? Is he like a monster? 
Leo, after trying to calm Karen down, explained to him that we were playing an innocent truth or dare game. Scratch the innocent. That just got him even more pissed. Oh my god, I would rather be with my mother. The end. That was so underwhelming. I don't understand that look Piper gave Nico. She was like, are you okay? I thought Nico was smiling after, you know, uh, spilling his guts in front of everyone. I am confused to say the least, but we can't say it wasn't entertaining. <laughs> So please leave a like if you like this video, comment down below if you have any other fanfics that you want me to read, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that bell button so you'll get notifications every time I post a new video. I post videos just like this every single Friday, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!